guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm amia and this is ava she just turned eight months old and that's actually what today's video is going to be about it's kind of like a eight month old update with her milestones her sleeping schedule her eating schedule all that good stuff but she's going to be quite busy in this video so if you see me keep picking her up putting her down her crawling all over the place she's extremely active now so don't mind it but if, I, if you see me keep looking down i have my notes over here and I'm going to be reading off of them just because I don't want to forget any um, any information for you guys throughout the day. And then I'm going to break it down a little bit more and talk more detail about each thing. But generally, she sleeps about 11 hours out of the night, I want to say, from 7 to 7. So she wakes up around 7.30, 8 o'clock, usually in the morning. Excuse me. We usually lay in bed about 30 minutes, just get ourselves a chance to wake up, and if Ava wants to go back to sleep, she can, I let her go back to sleep, and then we start our day. And after we wake up, I will give her a bottle, it's about 6 ounces, just because she eats finger foods throughout the day, so I give her 6 ounces every 4 hours, and then we play up until 12, and then that's when she takes her first nap. And after her 12 o'clock nap, we generally go back out to the play mat and just get some more energy out before her second and final nap. So our second final nap is around 3.30, no later than 4 o'clock, just because I don't want her sleeping too late. And they generally last about 45 minutes to an hour. So she only has two naps a day, one at 12 o'clock and one around 3.30, 4 o'clock. So, and then at the end of the night, she goes to bed around 7.30 or 8. So she sleeps a good 11 or 12 hours throughout the night and only really wakes up when she is looking for a pacifier but she just recently learned how to kind of search in her crib for it herself and she ends up putting herself back to sleep her milestones she's actually because i didn't make a six month video she started crawling around six months and i think a week and a half to two weeks later she started to pull up so for the past two months she's been learning how to pull up and she's gotten so good at it to the point where she's pretty much pulling up on anything that kind of scares me but i did get the little bumblebee cushion for my sister. If you don't know what that is, I'll put a picture up. It's a lifesaver. It helped me so much because I was so scared when she started pulling up and crawling. I was like, she's just gonna bump her head on everything. She's gonna fall back, she's gonna hit her head. It freaked me out, but that bumblebee definitely, definitely made me feel a lot better. And onto that, she started using her walker. It's, I don't know how to describe it, but pretty much you put your hands on it and you start walking. And I put the bumblebee on her as well. You can see you're trying to stand up. I put the bumblebee on her as well as I stand behind her and make sure that she doesn't fall or anything. But she's actually gotten so good at it. balance out a lot. And I can say that from the little time that she does use it, I can definitely tell that her balance is getting a little bit better. So that is her milestones. Everything with that is all good. She I always knew that she was going to be rather busy, and this just proved it to me as soon as she started to crawl. She was so busy, and as you can see, she's just, she's just being busy. Alright, and the next thing is um, teething. Now, she did have a rather intense teething phase about, I would say, her seven months, when she was seven months. She got a fever, she was super cranky, nothing I was doing was working, and... Pretty much, you know, babies when they teeth, she showed she was showing all the signs that she was teething or her teeth were cutting, but yet her teeth never cut. So yes, moral of the story, Ava does not have her teeth yet. We are trying. I'm trying to get them to cut through so bad, but I don't know. What to yeah, do. I know that her teeth will come in whenever they're ready, so I'm just gonna let them do their thing and not worry about it too much. Just let her chew on all her little teething stuff and hopefully get them to cut in. The next thing is her favorite toy, and I actually have it right here. This is one of her teething devices, and she's getting excited right now. So pretty much you can hold it any kind of way and put it in your mouth any way that you want. And she's coming to get it. Sorry. Pretty much, I think, let's let Ava demonstrate, actually. So I'm going to let her demonstrate what you do with it. But pretty self-explanatory it just looks pretty cool because she's in love with it <coughs> you can't even see Ava <coughs> she absolutely loves this thing and it's so fun it's just so colorful I love toys that have so many colors so bright and it looks so fun so yes this is her favorite toy on top of these little they're not really toys but these noise books the ones that make a lot of noise. She
she just loved them for some reason. And this was actually the quietest noise book we have. There's actually more that she got for Christmas that are way louder. And she loves them just, just as much. Excuse me. And now she's playing with that. And the next thing we're going to talk about is eating. And this is kind of like iffy for me just because I'm a first time mom. So when it comes to like introducing your baby food and stuff like that, it's really, really like intimidating and it makes you really scared at times because of course the last thing you want your baby to do is choke and they can't necessarily chew things as well because they don't have teeth so that whole thing was freaking me out and I was just trying to hold hold off onto it until she starts showing me signs that she was ready to eat but off the bat she showed me signs since probably like four months old that she was ready to eat she was watching me eat she was trying to get my food and when I was eating she actually started to learn how to like she would do the chewing motion like I do are you trying to beat me up are you trying to beat me up you're trying to pull my hair yeah so I started I tried and I did a lot of research on the baby blood weaning thing and I watched some YouTube videos and so I tried to get her on that and it freaked me out because I felt like she was going to choke and I didn't want anything to happen to her. So I was like, okay, we're going to start with periods just to ease my mind and make sure that I'm okay with what's going on. And she's going to get fed either way. So just to make it a little bit easier for me, I, I'm i just going to period and then make it chunkier, like gradually, if you know what I mean. And the period was working. She was eating it fine. So I started to make it a little bit chunkier for her to like kind of get her slowly to understand that she has to do things a little bit differently when her food is like a little bit chunkier so that's when she starts to do the motions of like chewing her food down or like pushing the food to the roof of her mouth to try to get it softened and all that good stuff and I also chew up some of my food and give it to her and that also has helped her learn how to like clamp down on her with her jaws and soften up the food so I think overall she's doing really good with food and I feed her like oatmeal with applesauce um, in the morning and at night I feed her some more just to really get her nice and full and stuffed but for the most part eating is going really really well she's been doing great with eating I'll give you a more updated video on this but for the most part I'm just keeping it simple and just trying to figure out what Ava wants to do and what she likes so yeah And now on to her eczema. So as you probably know, I've said in multiple videos that she has extremely bad eczema. I went to the doctors, they prescribed her some eczema medicine with steroids in it. And that I can tell has been helping, but something with, something happened between her laundry detergent breaking her out. And so she has like, The next thing I want to talk about is her eczema. So if you know, um, Ayla has pretty bad eczema and I went to the doctor that she got prescribed eczema medicine and all that and I had to switch all her laundry detergent and all her um, bath products to dye free stuff just to make sure that her skin, it's okay. I had to switch to dye free stuff just to make sure that her skin wasn't being irritated by anything that I had put, I mean anything that is put inside of her. Um, soaps so i did that and i can tell her skin still was a little bit um dry and inflamed at times so i went on to buy the baby avino body wash creamy oatmeal and after i noticed her skin was still a little dry and inflamed i did buy the baby avino moisturizer and i bought the baby soap and that has helped a lot. It's the anti-itch cream. Um, I know it's not actually called that, but it like helps the babies stop itching. And that has helped her quite a bit. I've noticed that she hasn't nearly been as itchy since putting on that cream. And then there is another cream that her grandma bought her to try out and see. And I think it is... I can't think of the name, but that's also for eczema flare-ups. It helps reduce the... the um, it helps reduce the chance of a flare-up from eczema and helps when the flare-up does happen helps it um calm back down and those three have actually changed her whole entire skin routine and changed the way that her skin looks at first it was just aquaphor and then we added the avino and it was kind of like eh, it's working but we like 
it's not working as well as it should. So then when we added that third product, I can definitely tell her skin has gotten a lot better. The next thing I'm going to talk about is Ava's sleep training. And actually, we've been sleep training her since she was about four months old. And like anything, it takes a lot of time and a lot of consistency. And I've been trying my best, but there comes a time where we get really good at sleep training. And then she gets, excuse me, there's a point in time where we get really good at sleep training. And then she starts teething and I let her lay in bed with me because I feel bad. And I don't want her to be uncomfortable in her bed. And I just want to make sure that she's okay and she's comfortable. So I do let her sleep with me. And that's when all the sleep training goes down. But we have been sleep training very consistently. And she's doing a lot better now. Majority of the time, I give her a sippy cup. I lay her down in her bed. And I myself go out of the room. I put her white noise on. She really likes airplane white noise. So I put that on. Um, I let the room be dark. I don't close the door. I just leave it cracked. And then I go out. And I'll either edit a video or I'll be on my phone and just kind of like let it be nice and quiet and dark in there for her so that she can really try to fall asleep on her own. And for the most part, by the time she's done with her bottle, she'll go and she'll um, find her pacifier and she'll stand up. She'll cry for about five minutes and then she'll go to sleep. But she didn't usually just cry for five minutes. As you know, sleep training, you let them cry for five minutes and then go in there and give them their pacifier or lay them back down and then if they if they start crying again you set a timer for 10 minutes and then after 10 minutes you go in there you can give them a pass fire you lay them down and then you come back out and if they cry you do 10 15 minutes and then you kind of do that all over yes for the most part sleep training has been going very very well it's a long time coming but i think we finally got a little routine down packed and she's finally sleeping in her bed like a big girl but i don't really have any complaints about her sleeping i'm very happy but yes, that is it for Ava's 8-month update. I kind of just learned to let her go at her own pace. When she wants to learn something, she'll learn it. When she wants to do something, she'll do it. And slowly, I'm starting to figure that out more and more each day. And all babies are different. They go at different pace. So I just let her kind of feel things out for herself. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And leave a comment below telling me um, if you have a baby and if so, how old they are. I'd love to know who watches my channel that has babies as well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you again in the next one.